Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Appalachian Eclectic. I'm Aaron. I've got Miss Corey here, and we also have about two tons of river rock. Got it delivered a day or two ago, and so we're finally going to be able to get going again on the flower beds uh, and the front landscaping part. Good time for it. Fall. It's uh, starting to get chilly out, and we don't have too many more nice days out here in the mountains that uh to get out and work a couple months i guess but the weather has been almost perfect the past few days and so we're going to take advantage of that and uh do some of the heavy lifting before it gets too cold you can see miss Corey got a little impatient on me here she carried these overall <laughs> by hand i had to get a new wheelbarrow wheel uh that was a whole ordeal and now the wheelbarrow's fixed ish and we're going to get to work show what i'm doing and while i move all the rocks from the front to the back she is going to put up some fencing around the yard uh with smaller holes because the cats have started coming outside now and exploring a little bit and um i'm not really they're scared of the cars and stuff so i'm not worried about i'm just running are setting in the road but i'm worried about them more like chasing a mouse or playing and running through the fence down here that they can get through and uh, getting in the road so we're going to go ahead and fix that as well and hopefully everything looks a lot better the street from the house there's a groundhog that lives in there and on this side yesterday Aaron saw trout and over here these are like nine foot tall iris flowers we've never seen them this tall before 
not too much traffic today. Front garden bed is done. Definitely looks a lot better. Looks like Aaron's got the bamboo and the elephant ears done over here. All right, so you can see here what I did with the cardboard. Uh, and this is, in my opinion, better than weed barrier. I used the heavy duty weed barrier in here with the bamboo because I didn't want to be able to spread. But I know eventually when this willow tree gets a little bit bigger, uh, you know, next year and it's up, I know Miss Corey is going to want to put some little flowers in here. If you have that weed barrier, such a pain in the butt to plant anything new because you've got to find it, cut it, you know, cut it real big, try and dig around it. You can't dig through it. Uh, really, I think it's more hassle than it's worth. But cardboard is a great alternative because I put this cardboard down. The cardboard um, is going to allow moisture through and it's going to decompose. It's just going to, you know, rot and, and go away. Take about six months or seven months for it to be completely gone. By the time the cardboard is really soft and decomposing to the ground, um, all the grass is going to be completely gone weeds everything underneath of it so i won't have anything coming up here so by the time miss corey gets ready to start planting her flowers she can just dig in put her flowers in and as long as from from that point it's going to be nice and soft and and wet under there so it's going to be a lot easier to pull any uh weeds that do come through because it's just going to be the seeds 
that are on the top instead of anything way down in the ground. Uh, note on that, when you, if you want to do this to kill some grass, put in a flower beds, garden, whatever, make sure that your cardboard is just regular corrugated cardboard. If it's shiny, if it looks like it has a waxy film finish on it, that's because it does. And so that's not going to decompose. You're just going to have uh, stuff in your flower bed and garden you don't want. And it's not going to allow the water uh, to go through. So your, your, your plants, you're basically just going to kill your plants. It will kill the weeds, but it will always be there. And it will also kill your plants that you're trying to keep the weeds from going around. Just a quick note. All right, well, we've still got a lot of cardboard and some mulch to put out, running low on supplies. So we're going to get as much done as we can and then go get Miss Corey some more zip ties to keep putting the cat barrier on and uh, go from there. everybody so we have some crazy caterpillars that is a crazy caterpillar don't think I want to be touching that one he looks like he could uh, maybe That's irritate it. your skin a little bit <laughs> <laughs> anyway so we've uh, gotten a lot done today and it looks a whole 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 lot better with uh, you know just our everything kind of by area. Now our mulch won't be washing into the uh, into the yard. It's gonna make it a lot easier for me to weed eat. You can see we're a little bit short, but uh, one day at a time, all this stuff costs money. You know, it costs a little bit of money. We have a whole lot of things that cost a little bit of money, which ends up being a whole lot of money. So we're gonna do one thing at a time, uh, do it as we come, and I think that Miss Corey's pretty happy with how things are shaping up outside. <clears throat> Definitely, I think, a huge, huge, huge improvement. She's got most of the green fencing up right here along the road, so the cats can't just run through it. Obviously, they can climb it, jump it if they want to, but the biggest thing with them here in the yard is just not being able to run, run out chasing a mouse or playing with another cat and run to the road. Make them stop and look both ways, I guess. All right, guys. Well, hope you enjoy this video. We got lots more coming up. And uh, got some really fun trips coming up. And some fun projects coming up now. I keep saying that. Well, this was pretty fun. But we're getting there. All right, guys. We'll see you next time.